Just going to give you a really quick run through tonight. Just replacing the rear brake discs and pads on this 2016 Ford Transit Custom. We've got some new discs and pads. I've got a wheel bearing just in case. And if you check the links in the description below, I'll put links to all the parts, the tools, all the torque settings, and where you can get all the bits from as well. But yeah, I'm just going to do this video a bit different to normal. Just going to speed through it, step at a time. Right, so now I've got the wheel off. The first thing I'm going to do, just remove the caliper. Just to get the caliper off, all you need, just the bolt, just on the top there, you're going to need a 12mm spanner. Top Bolt on the top, bolt on the bottom there. And we're just going to disconnect the pad sensor wire. It just runs through just to this connector there, and that's that one there. So we're just going to undo that, get that out of the way next. So that's the brake pads out and you can just see the reason that we're replacing these the brake pad warning lights come on you can just see where it's caught the sensor there right, so now that the pads out next thing we can do is get the carrier off just with your carrier you can do it before you take it off but just make sure that your sliders are nice and free you just see the bottom one's free there the top one's nice and free as well if they're seized up they need free and off and if they are a bit tight you really want to be taking the just popping the rubbers off and just putting some grease in there as well but they feel pretty good on this one so next thing we'll do is just get the carrier off just to get the carrier off we've got a 15 mil socket just two bolts just to get that off so we'll crack on next get the carrier out of the way So that's the carrier off. Next thing we're going to do is give the shims a really good clean out with a wire brush. Now it depends on the condition of it, how bad it is, but sometimes you might want to take the shims out and give it a good clean up underneath. It's just you need to make sure that's really nice and clean so that the pads can move nice and freely and it's not too tight in there. So give that a good clean up now. And you can just see the sliders a bit clearer now, just how nice and free they are. So don't need to do anything with them. Awesome. Just so we give the shims a really good clean up there. Next thing we'll do is just prep the caliper ready for refitting. Just going to use a little bit of ceramic paste and just put it in there just where the pads are going to slide that. So. so we'll just put that aside a minute while we crack on and get the disc swapped over. Right, so we're now ready just to wind the piston back on the caliper. Now this is a, an air wind back tool that we use. You can get some manual wind back tools as well. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. I have just took the cap off the brake fluid reservoir just so that when I push the piston back it doesn't build any pressure up in there. But you can also, if you want, just take the bleed nipple out or just crack it off as you push it back. Obviously it'll push the brake fluid out of the nipple and once you've pushed it back just close the nipple off as well and just lock it back off again. But yeah, we'll just crack on now, get that piston wound back. Right, so you can just see, piston wound back really nice and easy there. Just set it back right into that position there where it's right back to allow the room for the new pads. The next thing we're going to do is just take the centre hub nut off just to pull the disc off with the bearing. Then we're going to need to separate it once we get it on the floor. That's all. Um, we just want a 30 mil, 36 mil socket to undo the centre hub nut there. Right, so now see so we've got the disc off, just, just to break it away, just a bit of a tap with an hammer. I normally just free it off sometimes if you get a little bit tight, that's all. Um, just give it a quick clean up on the flange there, ready to refit your bearing. But you can see, now it's off basically, all we're going to need to do to start with is just undo these Torx bolts. And you're going to want a Torx 50 socket, I've just put an adapter on there just to undo it with the half inch gun, that's all. So we'll just crack on now, get them five bolts out.
Right, that's just undone them. Now that's just come off straight away. I've never actually had one. They're very rare you get one separate quite as easy as that. But normally what you'll have to do at this stage, I was hoping it would be like sort of normal just to show it as they normally are really. But you normally need to just tap a chisel in this little bit there if I just put the disc back on. And if it's seized in, what you'll normally need to do is just keep knocking a chisel in there. Just keep working your way around one at a time just to break it away if it's seized on there. So, but chances are if you're doing this you'll find that that will be quite tight on there so yeah so, so tonight that's just come off really nice and easy so we're gonna do now is just get them swapped over just get the new discs bolted up to that hub there right, so just slotted the whole bearing onto the new disc there now the torque setting for these bolts is 72 newton meters And all I've done at the minute is just nip them up. I'm going to get it back on the, back on the hub, put the centre hub nut on, and I'll torque them up when it's on the vehicle. Now, I'll just overlay the torque setting for the centre hub nut over the top of the video when I find it. And you'll just see your washer in the centre of the bearing obviously needs to line up over the slot on the shaft there. Once you've done your centre hub nut up, just give it a quick spin, just make sure it feels okay, it's not catching the back plate. Just give it a little bit of a rock to make sure that there's no plane at that. So, yeah, we'll just torque them Torx bolts up now. Next thing we're going to do now is just bolt the carrier back up, 115 newton metres. So just going to fit the new pads into place now and there are two different ones in the packet basically one of them the inner one has just got the little slot for the pad sensor there and should have come with some new most pads will come with some new uh, carrier slider bolts in the kit as well also you only really need to put a little bit of grease just on the outer bits there it has got an anti-rattle pad on the back so you don't need to put any grease on the back of it Right, so now the pads are in, just going to put the caliper back over there and the torque setting for your caliper bolts, 31 newton metres. Right, so the caliper's all back on now, nipped up. The last thing we'll have to do on this side is just refit the pad sensor. Right, so we've just got the wear sensor all in now. Just looped it through the, you can just see the little cover for the bleed nipple there. Just connected it back up, clipped the connector back into place, that's all. What we're gonna do at this stage now, is just get the wheel on, tuck the wheel up. Just sometimes a bit of an idea just to pump the brake pedal out before, but you can do it now or after that, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the wheel on, drop it down, tuck it up. Obviously before getting it off the ramp, just pump the brake pedal out. Just make sure, after pressing it a few times, just make sure you get a nice hard pedal. Check your brake fluid level in the reservoir. Then we'll just be giving it a quick run after that. But yeah, a bit of a different video to normal. I just thought I'm in a bit of a rush tonight. So just a quick speed through and obviously just showing you the one side. Um, obviously exactly the same procedure for the other side. But yeah, we'll crack on now. Just get it finished. Hope the video helped. If someone was having a go at their rear brakes on one of these customs. But as you can see, a little bit different from most sort of style of distant pads. Obviously being on the back of the bearing, but not really a bad job to do at all. So. But yeah, we'll crack on, get it finished off.